Hi, this is Matt Maxwell, and I'm the product manager for the USB spectrum analyzers from Tektronix, and I'm showing you a screen of a USB spectrum analyzer on the SignalView PC software here on this short video. I'd like to talk a little bit about EMI pre-compliance measurements on this short video. So I'll show you here a quick setup that'll help do that. So uh, the way SignalView PC software works, I want to show additional displays. I actually want to get rid of the spectrum display and then add a spurious measurement. The spurious measurement is part of the base software of the measurements, which are each con contained in different folders here. I hit OK. I just have a spurious measurement here. And that's the default setup. The next thing I'd like to do is show the settings and the ranges and limits. I can expand the table, and you see different parameters that are adjustable. The start and stop frequency of each zone. I can add additional zones. 1.07 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz, for example. And I can do things like change the filter shape of a particular zone. Maybe I want a minus 6 dB down filter shape or a CISPR filter shape. And also tell it what type of detector I want to use for each one of the 20 different zones. Also for each zone, I have a threshold setting here in this column and excursion to describe what constitutes a spur as well as absolute and relative stop and, um, and start power limits for a particular zone. So I can set up the limit lines through that. Um, it happens that I already have a setup file in the C drive under SignalView PC files, and this ships with every copy of SignalView PC. It's an FCC radiated emissions test, part of FCC part 15, for a quick EMI check. And so I've loaded that and I can see immediately I've got limit lines set up here and if I check the ranges and limits I've got four different zones selected from 30 megahertz to 6.2 gigahertz with different measurement bandwidths, filters, uh, spur detections per the FCC standard as well as limit lines and I can Call that done, I can see a quick test there. So this would be very helpful to say, well, maybe I've got issues I need to check out more at a particular frequency. And what's nice is with the Tech RSA 306, it's a real-time spectrum anal analyzer. So I'd like to point your attention to some other videos where we talk more about real-time capabilities that can be helpful to troubleshoot and diagnose problems showing up in the RF spectrum that might be the cause or might be the root cause for a violation of the EMI power levels shown here with this mask test. I thank you for your time.